And good evening and welcome to Friday Night Lights brought to you by Isabella Bank. It is district championship night across the land and that means that hardware is being handed out for the first time this football season in the form of trophies. I'm Scott Johnson alongside the Davison Destroyer Austin Sumwitz in Austin. How about that game of the week tonight? I mean, we got a lot to look forward to with that game of the week. Now, we had a lot of options for our game of the week poll, but there was pretty much no doubt of which one won. Your candidates for this week, you had Swan Valley at Freeland, Bad Axe at Laker, and Fenton at Linden. And your winner was, of course, going to go to the one undefeated team with undefeated Ubley hosting ML Seminary with the Cardinals. They were coming in after their upset over Harbor Beach last week. First quarter, 7-0 Ubley back at their own nine-yard line. Seth Maurer takes the handoff, shakes the Cardinal free, bursting down the field, gets pushed out of bounds on a big 48-yard run. The very next play, Mark Hellig is going to now take the ball for the Bearcats. Nobody around him as he gets in for the big Ubley touchdown. Two plays, 91 yards, and Ubley has a 14-0 lead. MLS now trying to get on the scoreboard before halftime. Fourth and goal. Evan Wakefield keeps it. Ubley looking like they might have just stuffed the Bearcats at the goal line. But one final push into the end zone. And MLS gets the touchdown right there. But regardless, Ubley continue to rack up the scoreboard. And their perfect season continues on. The Bearcats remain undefeated, bringing home a district title with another big win. Final score, 49-14. to And they're going to have Fowler up next. All right, Division Two Midland taking on Waterford Mott and the Kemick student section ready for some football here. Third quarter, 27-27. Jalen Brown here takes the handoff and he takes it to the end zone for the touchdown. The Kemicks uh, missed the extra point, but it was 34-27 Midland. Waterford hanging tough, moving the ball into the red zone. Caleb Osborne here hits the quick pass to Gage Sloan, but check it out. What a great tackle by Noah. Great check there. Makes a touchdown saving tackle by Inches. Kept the score at 34-27. Fourth quarter, after the defense gets a stop on fourth down, the Kemmicks a great field position, and Midland goes on to win this one by the score of 41-34. My boys, my boys, Davison, they, host, they were hosting Clarkston for this big district final matchup. Ethan Clark for Clarkston up here first. He's going to find a hole in the defense. He'll run in there for the touchdown to get Clarkston the early 7 to nothing lead. Now up here once again we have Davison this time. Carter Harmine is man is going to punch one in. That's six points there, but they missed the extra point, so it's a 76 Clarkston game. Clarkston now once again, they're going to get the ball here. He's going to run his way free. Nice little handoff there, and he gets past the Cardinals defense. Two defense defenders gets run into each other, in fact. And now it's a 14-6 game for Clarkston. Davison now with Jalen Flowers. He's going to actually spin out of a tackle. Big play to keep the play alive. He's rumbling his way in for the score. Possible Hurley Medical Center play of the night to make it a one-point game. But despite that, Clarkston would keep racking up the points. They win big on the road, 49-40. to All right, let's go to Division 5. Frankenmuth hosting Swan Valley. The winner to get the winner of Saturday's game between Hamity and Marine City. Pick it up first quarter. Muth cracks the scoreboard here. Griffin Barker here goes in from five yards out, and the Eagles take a seven-zip lead. Then the Eagles D stepping up big tonight. Swamp Valley's Colton Klein here in trouble. And he's going to end up being sacked by Colin Main right there. Same drive. It's Klein in trouble again. But this time he's going to let it fly. And it is picked off by Travis Brenner. And the Eagles turned that into points. Aiden Horde for the score here. And Frankemuth is moving on as the Eagles win it 31 to nothing. All right, I'll talk about a game that came down to the wire. Freeland at Goodrich. We're going to come in here, and Freeland has got control of this game. Ethan goes in, kicking a 30-yard field goal to make it a 9-0 game for Freeland. But now, don't count Goodrich out of this just yet. Jay Simmer Simerson is going to now get the ball, getting off to the edge. He goes, and he's going to make it into the end zone for the score with the point after. It's only a two-point game right now. 9-7 is the score. Now for Goodrich, Kaden Kolonowski kicking a 25-yard field goal as time runs out. That's the game winner for Goodrich. They're going to win it 10-9. A huge comeback win to win this district finals match once again. Final score, 10-9 for Goodrich. 
Wow, what a game out there. They blocked the punt to set up that game winning yeah. field goal. So wish we had time to show you that. But we got more highlights for you coming up on Friday Night Lights brought to you by Isabella Bank. Of course, the Hurley Medical Center uh, play of the night is on deck. But first we got what? We got the MLS student section chanting away for their team.